Hello, friends, and welcome back to r slash out of work here, lady. And today we have a little Walmart story to warm up and one huge two-part saga about how Karen can be banned from the place if she slaps an employee right in front of the owner. So let's get started. Walmart after a long night shift. Figured this was a good one that I should tell. I'm a night shift nurse at a hospital, and towards the end of my shift, I got a text from my husband saying that he was going to make waffles and if I could pick up a few things on my way home. So after my shift, I run into Walmart, one that quite a few of us hit up after work to pick up the occasional last minute item. All of the nurses at my hospital wear solid blue scrubs. I'm sure you all can see where this is going. Well, I'm getting all of the things I needed, and this small kid comes running up to me screaming, my mom needs help now. Half asleep, all I think of is, okay, I'm wearing scrubs. I have a stethoscope and a badge that says RN. Yep, medical emergency. So I drop my stuff and go running off to where this kid's mother is. Well, remember how I said quite a few of us from the hospital go there after work? Well, when someone who works in a hospital sees a nurse drop everything and run, you know something is going down. This started a chain reaction. About three other nurses, a nurse tech and a respiratory therapist running up behind me. So I round the aisle and come face to face with this kid's mother, a very obese woman in a motorized cart. So I immediately ask what the emergency is, just as all of my fellow hospital employees are running up behind me. She looks right at me, then at all the other people running up behind me and says, I can't find this brand of chips. Glad there's no life-threatening or death situation, and I politely tell her, I'm a nurse, I don't work here. I don't know where those chips are. She then said, you have to help me right now. Well, I'd had a long night, and all I could think of was waffles at home, so I said the only thing I could think of. The only help I can give you right now is to talk to your doctor about developing a diet and exercise program that is right for you. Have a good day. Needless to say, I now get asked all the time at work where different types of chips are located. If I may, thank you for running to help while off duty and half asleep. Nurses never fail to amaze me. All right, now it's time for the first part of our Karen saga. Lady lost her mind when I wouldn't clean her mat. So quick background. I live close enough to my mother that we do this CrossFit class together every Saturday. It's fun. We bond. Class is an hour long, and at the beginning, we grab mats and weights. We tend to grab a few different types, depending on the workout the guy assigns. You have to be there early to this class because it's popular, and me and my mom grab spots in the back. The class fills up. All the regulars take their spots. There isn't much room, but there is some space up at the front. So for the first half hour, everything is going well. Then this lady comes in. She walks to the center of the room stares at us, then grabs a mat. I head over to the station on the TRX and begin my set. When I come back, I see this lady has pushed my mat into the weights and has made herself a spot. My mom is livid, but I wave her off. Don't get me wrong, I'm annoyed, but it happens, and I continue the class. So five minutes later, instructor gives us the next set of workouts. I finish my workout on the mat and see there is a free TRX if you don't know what that is, it's basically a rope you attach to the wall and do different exercises with. As I'm pushing through a set, someone taps my shoulder. It's this lady. You finished 10. I counted. Stop hogging. First of all, I did not. Secondly, our instructor has us go through the sets twice in a round, so I was planning to go through twice. Thirdly, there was a free one right next to me. I point out the free one and she rolls her eyes and says something snarky about how I wasn't being mindful of customer. She then demands that I show her how we're doing the workout. I kind of showed her my form and then Mike, the trainer, comes by. She smugly looks at me and says, good someone is doing their job around here. I just shrug it off and tried to finish my set in peace. So I go back to my workout and don't have anything with her until the end of class. At the end, our instructor hands out wipes for us to clean the mats before we return them. My mom was returning the weights while I was wiping our mats. As I'm wiping, my mom's mat is thrown at me and lands on my hands. I'm on my hands and knees. I look up and it's this woman again. She's kind of smugly looking down at me. She throws down her wipe and then begins to walk away. I get up with her mat and hand it back to her. Me. Excuse me, that's not where you leave them. 
Her. What? You're cleaning them. I need you to clean mine. Me. Yeah, just this one and mine. Her. What makes her so special? Me. She's my mom. Her. That doesn't matter. It's your job to clean these. I was kind of floored at the idea I worked there only because I'm working on losing weight. I'm not obese, but I certainly don't have a trainer's body. Me. I don't work here. Her. Stop being bratty. It's clear you work here. Me. What? Her. You clearly work here. I can see your uniform. Plus, you were helping that woman the whole time. For the record, the supposed uniform was black leggings and a black tank, and there wasn't one. Me. Picking up my mat and my mom's. I do not work here. Leave me alone. She then begins screaming the instructor's name, and he comes up with my mom right behind him. So he's seen some of the stuff and was pretty much over this lady's crap. Mike, on the other hand, has no idea. He can tell from my face that I'm annoyed. Mike, what's going on? Her, you need to fire this woman. She's refusing to clean my mat and spent the whole lesson ignoring me. Mike, who at this point understands my annoyance. She doesn't work here, but I can clean your mat. I also should tell you that we don't clean mats in the future. At this point, the lady huffs and marches down the stairs. I think that's the end of it until my mother and I go down and see this woman screaming at the front desk. She sees me and then points. Her. Get that brat fired. She used the brat way too much. The front desk guy's a pretty innocent kid, probably in high school. She doesn't work here, ma'am. At this point, her face is as red as it gets. She screams and then walks out. My mom made us wait inside until she left the parking lot. Probably for the best. And the second part. Lady lost her mind because I wouldn't clean her mat, part two. Just got home from the gym and thought y'all would appreciate an update because holy F-balls. So me and my mom go to the gym. The moment we step in, I noticed something was off. For one, the owner was there at the desk talking to Mike. When Mike saw us, he waved us over. Owner, Mrs. and Miss Redacted, right? We nod. Owner, I heard from Pete, front desk kid, and Mike, you had an encounter with another customer last week? Again, we nod. He sighs and grabs a paper. I'm sorry that happened, but here's the issue. We don't have pictures with our IDs, so we don't know for sure who the woman was. This is a list of people who swiped in around the time Peter saw her come in. Can you tell me if you recognize her name? I take the paper, but shake my head. I'm sorry, we didn't exchange names. So the owner nodded. Well, here's what we're going to do. Pete isn't here today, so I'm going to sit in on your class. If she comes in, Mike will point her out and I'll talk to her. I promise she's not going to interact with either of you. Mom, good. I don't want her near Nancy. We all nod in agreement and head upstairs where the class was. And for the first 15 minutes, everything's going well. All you could think about was the burning in my legs. Then she walked in. Same as before. Looks around the room. We locked eyes for a second, and I could see her scowl before she grabs a mat. Mike sees her and nods to the owner. He begins to walk over to her, but she's already got a mat and is pushing people's stuff aside. She's close to me, but she isn't pushing my stuff. My mom's playing guard dog and moved her stuff a bit forward so she couldn't look at me. He taps her shoulder and looks like he asked her to walk out with him. She turns and looks towards us, probably to glare, but like I said, there's a mother of a wall between me and her. See what I did there? The lady then marches out. I'm going to be honest, there was a window I could see them talking through, so my workout went at the window. At first, the conversation seemed relaxed, then very quickly, and I mean very quickly, there was yelling and pointing at me to be exact, and Mike turned up the music so as to not distract anyone else, but the die had been cast. She was screaming now. I couldn't hear everything, but I heard unfair and I heard the B word. The owner seemed calm, but it was clear he was over it. This continued for a bit. Then Mike stepped out. At this point, the entire class was watching. Mike tried to calm her down, but then she was just yelling at both of them. After a few minutes, she did calm down. Mike relaxed and she pointed inside again. Mike went to the door, but she marched past him and back in to grab her water bottle. She left the mat, surprise, surprise. So she picks it up, turns to leave, then stops and marches straight up to me. Before she can get close, my mom steps between us. I love my mom, but she's five foot two and almost 60. 
This lady looked older, but neither woman should be squaring off. So this lady's looking at my mom, then she looks at me. Mike and the owner have now run into the room. Owner, ma'am, it's time to leave. EL, why not her? Why just me? Owner, she isn't screaming, ma'am. EL, but it's her fault. She could have said she didn't work here. So just a quick thing. I have anxiety, and I was freaking out at this point. I could feel the panic attack coming. Mom, walk away now. She hasn't moved, except to get in the way. Both Mike and the owner are trying really hard not to touch her, but Mike steps in front of my mom and began hurting her out the door. That's when we hear it. The sound of a slap. She has slapped Mike. Everyone is quiet. The owner regains his composure, and then it goes down. All right, I'm calling the cops. We have your information, and you assaulted my employee. You can leave or wait for the cops, but you will not be coming back here again. She's clearly panicked from what I can see. Mom hasn't moved. I'm calling my lawyer and begins rattling off. Mike looks around. All right, guys, sorry to cut things short, but class is over. Please clear the area. I'll take care of the gear. So my mom herds me away and her and the lady lock eyes. Why isn't she leaving? And then me and my mom book it. We go down the stairs. My mom leaves her number in case the owner needs it. All the other members are gossiping about it as we leave. In the car, when things have calmed down, my panic attack took a bad turn, and I've been hanging out at my parents' house until I can go home. Logically, I know it's over, but I still hope I won't see that lady again. So glad the gym is supporting you and so quickly took up this problem. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video all the way to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.